In this report, customer sales is represented in a pivot table and pivot chart. You are able to filter and analyze the sales by using the report filters. Product, region, and salesperson. In the demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can use the slices in Excel 2010 to filter and analyze information in a pivot table and pivot chart. When you use a regular pivot table report filter to filter on multiple items, such as product, the filter indicates only the multiple items are filtered and you have to open a drop down list to find the filtering details. However, a slicer clearly labels the filter that is applied and provides details so that you can easily understand the data that is displayed in the filtered pivot table report. If you choose the salesperson report filter, you can see if you select one specific salesperson, you're able to see the information and the filtering details. In this case, you can see that Dave is the salesperson. However, if you do want to select by multiple salespeople and you select an additional salesperson, you'll see the salesperson report filter only shows multiple items. You can't see which salesperson it's actually filtered by. To clear the filter, select all in Excel 2010, we find a new command under the Pivot Table Options tab called Insert Slicer. This will activate the Insert Slicer's dialog box where we can select the dimensions we will want to filter on. Select the same dimensions, product, region, and salesperson name. You can customize and configure the filters and place them anywhere in the Excel report. To create a slicer, you will need a pivot table or a pivot chart associated with the data source. Once you've configured your pivot table and selected which data should be displayed, you are ready to choose your slices. Here we have the slices salesperson name, region, and product. You can now customize your slices to different styles. You can now use the slices, salesperson name, region, and product to filter and analyze the information in your pivot table and pivot chart. For example, have a look at the product Archie's Red Apples. That is being sold by Sean in the South region to customer one. As you change a pivot table slicer, you can see the information in the pivot table and the pivot chart changes dynamically. What is interesting to see here is that the slices work together. If you select on Archie's Red Apples and Destiny Water, you can see the other slices change accordingly. Ben and Sean are selling those specific products and only in the East region. To clear the slicer, select on the Clear Slicer button at the top of the slicer. Have a look at the different areas. Have a look at the salesperson. Select on Ben. You can see Ben is only selling in the East region. He's selling the two products and he's only selling to customer four. Slices are easy to use filtering components that contain a set of buttons that enable you to quickly filter the data in a pivot table report without the need to open drop down lists to find the items that you want to filter. To learn more about Excel or the new features in Excel 2010, I highly recommend that you have a look at the Excel on Steroids workshops. There are three workshops in this course. Workshop 1 looks at business reporting using formulas and functions. Workshop 2 looks at managing data lists and macros. And then finally, Workshop 3 looks at data analysis using pivot tables and pivot charts. It's in this Workshop 3 that you'll learn more about slices and sparklines in Microsoft Excel 2010. For more information on the Excel on Steroids workshops, visit the Alchemex Academy at www.alchemexacademy.com.